you and I, we are so random You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom I ignore the fact that this will never last Hello, welcome to a video comparing two of my Hermes bags It's the Constant uh, Constance bag, which uh, you've already seen in the thumbnail I don't know why I bother introducing these videos, because you already know So if you follow my channel and you've um, watched, I think it was like two videos ago Maybe three videos ago, I revealed this, which is my mini Epson, mini Epson No Sylvest Constance. Um, and then this is my, this is an 18. Terrible with numbers, I always forget them, but I think this is a 24. Yeah, it's 24. Um, again, Epson with Rose Noir. So I got this one first. I don't even know how long I've had this. I'm going to say 18 months. So um, if you are thinking about what um, is style bag to get, this should really help you, but most importantly, if you're choosing between the two different sizes, this is for sure going to, you, you'll know which size you will, you will like or that's more suitable for you by the end of this video, or in most cases with Hermes, even with me sometimes, you might ask for this and you get offered this size and then you're thinking, oh, I don't know what to do, should I take it? So it will definitely prepare you for what size to get and I think it'll be really helpful. So just a quick rundown on, but this looks like it's quite a lot in it. <gasps> I have been looking for this everywhere. I thought I went for everything. I lost this and uh, my house keys and my car keys and my flat keys. It's quite a big deal to lose, I just can't find them. I thought I went through all of my bags, but clearly not. At least I found that. And I also found my favourite lipstick in there as well. So, um, this was the last Hermes bag on my list because I adore the Kelly. I've done a video on Birkin V's Kelly, so I'll link that below as well. Um, but I also love the Birkin. So much so I love, love, love those two. I wanted uh, other sizes. I knew I wanted this one. Um, and I had this weird thing in my head that it was easier to get, and I think some years it is, but I actually had to wait the longest for this bag out of all of my bags. Um, and I'm surprised how much I love it. I use it all of the time, and I really me recommend the Constance as a bag. Um, when I saw this Mauve Sylvest, sorry for repeating, but when I saw this Mauve Sylvest colour, I was so, I, I loved it. I really was waiting for the perfect pink bag. This is perfect for me. I'm also going to show you how you put this twilly on the Constance. I'm going to do it on this one in a, it, like at the end of the video. So, um, Kelly, I think you, well, you for sure got it in America, but we didn't get it here. Um, by the time I asked for this Constance, it was all gone. You'll find the full story in my reveal of this, so I'll link it below. But basically, when I got offered it, I was a bit uh, hesitant to have a mini because I'm I'm really not into the mini trend bag. So hopefully, this story is going somewhere and it helps you. So this is obviously called the mini, and it looks very small, doesn't it? And I was a bit thinking, I don't want to spend thousands and thousands for a mini bag when I bought my Kelly Thirty Two. It was my first Hermes. Uh, well, I literally got that on my 28 in the same week, long story. It's all in my other, in my other videos. And I didn't want a 32, I wanted a 28, and I was so pleased I got the 32 because mini bags were just coming in and I was doing the opposite. And mini bags are slowly, they're not going to go out, but it's slowly being less of a thing and, you know, everything comes back around. So I'm really pleased I've got my favourite green moet colour, grey. In the Kelly 32 so I do tend to prefer 28 for me is perfect 25 is perfect hence why the 24 I love so I was very hesitant about the mini and I'm sure many of you are but I thought yes I'm gonna go for it because I know it fits the iPhone and I just got my mini Kelly as well so I didn't want to overdo it on the mini bags but I knew it fit the iPhone and I remember when I had like these super fancy events I only really have two bags to choose from so it's why I invested in the Mini Kelly and I thought this can just be like my summary colour version for that. So I went in thinking, convincing myself, yes I can use it, don't worry. But the good news is, this little Mini actually fits so much in. I stupidly didn't bring my um, vlogging camera because I'm not even using it. But this is the iPhone. I've showed you so many times, I don't even know what iPhone I have, but it's like the biggest one. So it fits in absolutely perfectly. The Mini Kelly, it fits so snug. This has definitely got a little bit more room. Um, you know, something like this, an Hermes CDC, which is quite chunky. 
wouldn't fit my mini Kelly. It fits in fine, look at that. So I could literally fit like two of these in there and it doesn't compromise on shutting the bag or anything. So I was so pleased. See, it's fine. So this is what it looks like when I have my vlogging camera, my phone, my keys. Um, I can fit all of my essentials in here. So I was so over the moon with this bag because it's a lovely cute size, but surprisingly practical. So don't be scared off by the mini size. You can get a micro. Um, I'll put up the picture here. But there is the micro, which is still available. This 18 centimeter, which is the uh, mini. Then you've got the 23 constants, which is discontinued. The 24, which I love. Uh, 25, discontinued. 29 is discontinued. And then you get the uh, constant Elam, which is like the elongated one. So I definitely won't be buying a micro, no way. Um, and I'm happy with these two, I think. I would like this in red, but um, yeah, I think once you start on it, you just get addicted to all of them. Um, so yeah, surprisingly amazing. So if you wanted the 24 and you get offered this, obviously it's your preference, but what I will tell you is it's surprising how much it fits in. Um, it looks so great with the little mini handle here, and I can wear this every day, like shopping, and like all the bits that I need. It's bigger than a wallet on a chain. Um, fits similar to a Chanel classic flap, like what you would think is the medium size. It fits pretty much the same as that, so definitely a, a useful bag, but also perfect for evening. So I am very happy with that and over the moon that I definitely have one of each size. I'm really, I would have picked it in this colour and size, but I'm so glad I have one of each now. So this is, uh, I really love the Epson leather for the um, Constance, by the way. It, it was my preference for both of them. I really love rose, rose gold hardware. I'm hoping to get another bag with, with rose gold because I really do love it. Um, we'll do a comparison of the handle. They're exactly the same because if you was to... Yeah, they're pretty much the same the handle, the length of the handle. So this one is actually not massively bigger, but this one fits everything that the mini fits in my phone my vlogging camera um my keys but it, it has that extra room to put like i don't know a couple of lipsticks maybe even a coin purse something like that so you do get a little bit more extra room to play with so my phone's going in there now and i could probably fit three or four cdc cuffs in there i wasn't even meant to have this cuff in here but it's quite good for size reference so it fits considerably amount more this one has two compartments and two little side flaps this one actually has a zip um and a side flap and then two compartments so literally the same but there's a side zip inside um, and that's how that goes. And this looks really cute holding it like this. I do wear it like that quite a lot. That I feel is a bit small to do that. Uh, you definitely can, but I do think that looks really nice as a double handle. And that looks really nice as a crossbody as well. So that's the difference between the two. Let me just shut that. And if you're lucky enough, to have access to both, I definitely recommend having one of each. That's definitely a decider for me after using both of them. And they're both great bags. They're both very practical. They're completely fastened and closed. You see this gap at the side? I haven't had any problems with this. Whereas the Chanel Boy bag, I used to find it a bit of a nightmare, but I think it's where this is longer and deeper and the Boy bag is more shallow and long. So. The shape of it caused things to fall out. My money would fall out, my lip liners would always fall out. I haven't had any problems with this and I find it really secure. So that's the two bags side by side. Both fit a lot in it. Um, I know it's very helpful for me to tell you exactly which one I love the most. So if I had the choice, and it is personal preference with what your lifestyle is, you might be someone that literally doesn't need a lot, so this would suit you more, you know, I'll leave that up to you to decide. And maybe some of you have two mini Kellys, so, you know, it would make sense for you to maybe have this, 
but then again you might just only use your mini kelly over everything else so obviously that's taken into account personal preference for someone that uses both of these sizes in their everyday life and i think both are practical both fit a lot i would probably go for this but it literally is by like five percent I love them both equally, but just it's always good to have a little bit of extra room and it's still quite small this one. And seeing as 25 and 28 are my favourite sizes, um, the 24 is pretty perfect. So the winning size for me between the 18 and the 24 is the 24, but if you do get offered one of these or you want this was your preference in the first place, I can confirm that it fits quite a fair amount and it is practical. It is a practical mini bag. So yeah, that's those two. Um, oh, we're going to do the, uh, the, um, Twilly. So it's not practical in the sense that you can hold it like this, because that happens, um, or like this. I mean, it's fine. You really, really can hold it like that, but it's more for decoration. So when you have it like that, it's more for decoration. So it's very simple how to do it. I'm always really good at doing this, but um, as soon as I do it on camera, I freak out. So, what should we do? I'll change the camera and bring you in closer. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a Bauman bomber, and then just like a uh, Zara loungewear, just in case you're interested. Okay, it's quite difficult when I'm like not on a proper table or anything, but... So, you just get the point in the middle, like so. Got so many layers on because it's so cold in here. Um, oh my god, my mind's gone blank. I don't know why I panic every time I do this on camera. So just pop it through like that. Um, I can't. I can't. I honestly can't see what I'm doing with that. That looks about right. So you just pull the handle up ever so slightly. You then wrap that around like so. And then you thread it through here and just create a little knot. Like that. And if you want, you can put it through. Oh! Do you know what I've just thought of? So if you put it through this, like an idiot, I literally did that one rushed and it turned out really well so I left it and I wasn't thinking but if you now I'm actually thinking whilst I'm doing it if you put it through this little hook I've lost it I don't know why this happened it will hold I think when you do that so I'm gonna attend that the camera's not on because that that's what my problem is and do you mind if I just put it this way because I couldn't see what I was doing I'm going to pretend you're not there, otherwise I freak out, and then I'll turn it around in a second. Okay, so I'm going to thread this through. There's no particular way in doing this, you can just, as long as you make a nice little knot. So, I've just made a little knot and hooked it in that clasp, whereas on, on the pink one I didn't do that, which is actually going to make it really um, hold. So it's actually come out well, except for my inside out mistake. Oh, no, it still doesn't work, so I was right. So if you put it through this clasp, hook, whatever it's called, it still doesn't work because it just pulls it out. I'm sure you could do it super tight. I'm sure there is a way around it. I'm sure you can just wrap it around multiple times, make it really secure, but I'd worry that would ruin your twilly. So this sounds so bad. This happened before when I did it with my Birkin and then I had to do it off camera and come back. But I'm just showing you to get the gist. So you literally just Make a little, this is embarrassing Claire, why have you done this? I swear I did that one all by myself when I did it in the car. So you just make, wrap it around here. And I'm not going to redo this and pretend that I did it great first time because it is what it is. 
He's just wrapping a scarf around a handle. I'm just feeling the pressure of the camera. So you literally just do a little knot here. Any knot that you like. Wrap it around. Can't see anything in the camera. Wrap, 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 wrap. Wrap it around again. This knot that I'm doing now is how I normally do it. It's a lot neater like this. And it's like the natural way when you're not thinking. See, like that. So that is literally how you do it. Please forgive me for doing that so hideously. Um, and it's just very easy. And you'll probably do it first time. But that's how you do it. And even if you just, if it's not even hooked up like that, it uh, still looks cute, even, even if it's not pushed up like this one, because I've done this one, I picked this one up a lot more, so it looks like that. But even flat, it looks nice. So I've kind of ruined that video with being uh, like, look at how bad my twilly skills are. But I hope this video helps you. I hope it helped you work out what constants you want, um, even if you're just interested in the different sizes. 24 constants compared to the 18 mini. Those are my pink smudge frig here. So I hope that video was helpful. I leave you with a little comparison or maybe I'll just leave them in the cutaways. Any questions you have about these, I can't remember what I paid for this. This one was, I, I forgot to tell you in my last video, I'm really sorry because I always share the prices and again I will repeat myself. I hate talking about the prices because it is a lot of money but the thing is about with Hermes bags, you, you can't go in and ask them how much is a Constance, how much is a Birkin, they just won't give you an answer and I do understand why because the hardware, the size, the leather, it all affects the price. So I could have two mini bags and there'll be different prices because of the leather and everything else. So I paid, four, I think I paid 4,800 euros for this, so it's around 4,500, I really cannot remember. Um, but I'll put up the prices here because I have the receipt. I think this was 6,000 something, I, I don't know. But I'll put up the prices here so, so you can see it. So that's just to tell you the comparison in the price. I do know it was, it, it wasn't like it was £500 difference, there was a considerable amount, so that might make you, if you want to pay less but you're worried about the mini, I would still go for it, it's fine. I'm just looking at how neat this, this twilly has been done, just to prove to you I did do it. Um, yeah, so they're the prices and I really wanted to um, share that because I know it's helpful when you're trying to work out what bag to get and they don't show you the prices. So that's the prices, that's the two... Um, comparisons both amazing this slightly wins for me just for my lifestyle and what I like but I hope you found that useful I have done a work in these Kelly I have done 28 versus 32 Kelly so I'll leave them in the links below and in a few weeks I am going to be revealing my brand new walk-in wardrobe phase one which is complete the wardrobe and then I have phase two where I've put all kind of customised my fitted wardrobe to make it more me and in between those two videos I'll be doing a full Hermes collection and I have got another bag on order so maybe that will arrive before I do my Hermes collection I don't know but thank you so much for watching I would love it if you would subscribe if you didn't catch my last video it's a video like an at home vlog some high street shopping and my new beds that I have home I have two new beds at home so you can check that one out if you want to have a little look at my house. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to leave any requests, especially the Hermes ones, because I'm more than happy to do it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.